Oh, good day. I'm Beachy from Drifter. Um, this here is the, the new Prado 150 we've just bought. We um, we started to specialise in the drawers for the Prado 150, so we uh, we bought the vehicle, and I just want to show you how the drawers work. So what we do with the with the with the 150, um, especially the GXL, is there's normally a third row of seats here which are under the floor. So we take them out, and what we do then is reduce the floor level by 150 mil. So saving you a lot of space and saving you a lot of weight. The most common setup we do for the Prado is the, the two drawers with the table unit. Uh, this is the most common setup we do for all four wheel drive wagons really. They're all custom made to suit the size of each vehicle exactly. So for the 150 as an example, we make them 1060 wide by 930 from front to back. So that drawer unit fills up all that space perfectly. So you get no wasted space and no dead space down the sides. So I'll show you the drawers. This here is a, this is the main drawer, um, the deeper drawer. So the drawers, um, as you can see, we don't use um, like the roller runners, which are on a lot of the other drawers out there. We actually use a, a Teflon strip, which is rebated into the base of the drawer. Um, so the, the Teflon uh, it saves it saves a lot of space here, saves a lot of weight, and um, yeah, they slide as smooth as anything. This is the second drawer. It's it's, it's a fraction lower. Again, same deal. It's got a divider in here and you can screw them dividers in wherever you like so you can move them around as you want to uh, it's pretty easy then you've got the uh, the table so you can slide the table out and use it as a workbench at the back of your vehicle which is great it's just really handy for them quick stops you know you might pull up on the side of the road just want to make a quick cup of tea or something and then when you've got a set up for the day or the night you pull it out and there's a full set of legs attached to the bottom the legs just hinge open uh, each leg adjusts individually, so you, you know, no matter what surface you're on, you can always get your table nice and level. And there she is. It's a good solid table. It's um, got a laminated worktop on there, so it's nice and easy to clean. And um, yeah, it's just a pretty handy little little unit. And then when you're done, you just, just slides away, nice and safe. And it's quick and easy. Quite often in the in the in the, the deeper drawer, we'll put a little insert drawer in there, which is like this. So it's just handy for them small bits and pieces, which like all the stuff in here. If it was in the main drawer, it would kind of get lost. So with with the insert drawer as an option, it's just really handy for them small things. When it's in there, you can slide it to the back of the drawer, pull it to the front, take it out, whatever. It's just a it's just a handy little thing to have. If you wanted to pull the drawers out, it's just a little locking pin on the back here that releases the drawers, and then the drawers will just come out, come out like that. You can see here, this is the Teflon we use um, for the drawers to slide on. So there's two strips of Teflon in the carcass, and then there's also two strips in the underside of the drawer here and here. So the Teflon sits on top of the Teflon, and that's what gives you that really low friction, easy slide with the drawers. So then we've got the, the, the side wings. Um, so your drawers fit between the wheel arches. So we make, we make side wings which fill the gaps um, alongside the wheel arches. So the side wings are here, like this one. These simply just lift off, so you can get access to all, all the space down the side. Um, different vehicles are different, they have different amount of space. And we just use these brackets here, which the side wings sit on, but these just slide out. So we've got some brackets there, which we, which we knock up in the workshop. So we can give you full access to all that space. So the drawers just slide in and out very easily. There's um, very little effort there at all. The drawers will just shut themselves. Um, it doesn't matter if the drawers are, are loaded up with weight or if, if, you know, if there's not much weight in them, they slide just as easily. Weight doesn't really affect the drawers at all. So um, yeah, come and have a look at some of the features. Um, these here are the, the stainless steel latches that we use. They're very neat, very tidy. They just, um, they just push shut. It's the same, the same on each drawer. And um, yeah, they've got, they've got a lock feature on them and uh, they, they're, they're both the same key as well. This here is an aluminium edge strip. It's just a protection strip. Um, so as you slide things in and out, the rub on that corner, it just protects that. And it also fits in well with the latches. I, like, I think the look of it is pretty good. Um, and, and this here, obviously, is, is the table. 
So it slides in and out very, very easily. Um, it's, it's carpeted where the table slides in and out so that it never gets scratched or marked. And the same with the drawers, like the, the, the drawers are carpeted on the inside, so it keeps everything from rattling around in there, just keeps the noise down. The timber, we, uh, we, we stain all the timber and we work it back. We, the boys spend a lot of time sanding this back and working it to get that high finish on it. You can't even tell it's, really, it's timber, to be honest. So with the Prados, this is where the fridge would sit. We, we normally put the fridge on the opposite side to the table. Um, that way you can, you, can, you can have your table slid out here and you can take stuff out your fridge and load it straight on your table. So it just works really well. You can have it the other way if you like, there's no dramas, but um, just normally that's, that's, that's a better way to do it. Um, so yeah, with the Prado, we normally put the fridge on this side um, and the table on the, on the driver's side. That's mainly because it's better to keep the fridge away from the door. It just means that you can keep the fridge up against the side of the vehicle. Whereas if you put the fridge this side, it's got to come out to the middle, so it's not as good a use of space. Different vehicles are different ways, so if, if you know, just let me know what car you got and I, I can sort of give you some advice as to where's best to put it. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the, the main features of the drawers here. Like we've just been talking about the Prado, but of course we make these drawers for any vehicle. Yeah, so this is the, the Drifted 2 drawer with table uh, we've been looking at for, for the Prado 150. Um, yeah, we, we basically specialise in this in this truck now. Uh, we've gone to a lot of work just to get it all sort of perfect. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just give us a shout. Thanks very much. So Drift has just bought the new 150 Prado. Um, we took it up to Chris at Tari Off Road, and he um, he's tricked it up a bit. We've got the a ARB ball bar on the front. We've got some IPF Extreme Sport Spotties on it. Um, the UHF. Um, we've got a set of mags. And, and some Cooper SD Max tyres. There's a two inch lift on it, just to give you a bit more ground clearance. Um, we've got the, the aluminium aluminium roof rack, and of course, the drifter drawer set up in the back. So, I'll, I'll <laughs> the best set. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, hang on. You got uh, the ARB, um, the ARB rack on the front. No. Boba. <laughs> hey, g'day. I'm I'm Beachy from Drifter. Thanks very much.